Hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new here, welcome. I'm Ale, and I like traveling for music. I like traveling for concerts, live music events. I'm going to Korea, not just for that, but also for my birthday. So let me set the scene. Let, let me tell you the story. About a month ago, I was scrolling on my phone, and I get two notifications from Weavers. One of the notifications was from BTS, and the other was from P1 Harmony. And to my, to my shock and surprise, I see V for BTS, and then both of the notifications, they say fan meeting, and I was like, <laughs> so if you're new here, hey, I like BTS and P1 Harmony. <laughs> They're two of my favorite groups ever, period. Doesn't matter the genre. So when I saw the fan meet announcements, and in October, because October is my birthday month, I was like, the universe? I immediately in my head was like, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna get into the fan meeting. So here's the thing, Taeyong's fan meeting was a raffle. You had to buy albums on Weverse and then it was just like a lucky draw on who got selected. Um, I, I didn't get selected. <laughs> I mean, it's fine. I saw people who did get selected. A lot of them were like fan sites or fan club, fan bases and they bought thousands of albums. I also did see someone on Twitter though who won with just one album, so you truly never know. So I didn't get into Taste Fan Me, but it's fine because I still wanted to go to Korea for my birthday. I feel like it'd be like a nice, fun solo trip and I just felt like I kinda needed that. Even though I didn't get into Taehyung's Fan Me, twice ended up announcing a fan meet as well. So guess who's leaving in a week? I'm leaving in a week and I have nothing planned. I have my flight booked. I don't have a place to stay yet. I don't have my itinerary. And the thing about me is usually I don't, like I'm not really an itinerary girly. If you've watched my other travel vlogs, you'll know I don't plan anything. I just show up and I vibe. But this time I do want to go in with the plan because I've actually been to Korea three times in the past. And even with those three times, I still feel like I have not done everything that I want to do. And even with this trip, I still don't think I'm going to do everything that I want to do. So I came to one of my favorite coffee shops in Anaheim. Shout out to one of my nail techs, Bella. She recommended Thank You Coffee in Anaheim and the matcha is so good. So I'm gonna have myself a little lunch, do a little bit of planning here. And throughout this video, I'm gonna show you my process of prepping for Korea. Thank you coffee closes at 5 so I usually like to leave around 4 p.m. and I come to a nearby coffee shop in Fullerton which is another one of my favorites in Orange County it's called 525 525 coffee the strawberry matcha is so good and it's a really cute cafe but it's full inside but it worked out because I can talk to you guys a little bit out here but the last shop I basically figured out Airbnb possibilities and I also booked a few BTS related activities I'm not a hundred percent set on my Airbnb yet but I have two options that are a really good price and also really good locations I have my good luck charm let's see what I can book in the next hour and a half my biggest recommendation for accommodations in Seoul is staying in or near Hongdae it's right next to a university so there's a lot of nightlife and it's also just super foreigner friendly so shopping clubs lots of good restaurants and street food and the people who work there are more likely to speak english so it's easier for you as a foreigner to get around and to plan out this trip i used wanderlog for the first time it's basically an itinerary app that lets you plan out your day-to-day -day. i like this a lot better than like a google spreadsheet because it's already formatted for you it lets you add in specific addresses and it'll even tell you the distance between wherever you're staying and whatever location you want to visit you can drop in travel notes track your budget i liked using this i found out about it on tiktok and I think I'm gonna be using it in the future for sure. We, actually, I don't know how many days are left till I leave. It's Sunday, I leave Thursday morning. Today is a little bit more cosmetic prep. I have to go to Target and maybe Sephora even to pick up some things for the trip. But I'm also gonna get my nails done. I haven't had a new set in like over a month and I have been stressed. Generalized anxiety disorder. So I've been biting the crap out of my nails. Oh my God, redacted, don't look at them. But today I'm finally getting a fresh set with one of my nail techs. These are my two queens, Brie at Anise nails and Bella from Angelic Sets. Brie does mobile services and she's LA based. Bella has a little studio in Anaheim. So my LA and OC girlies. Like I said, Brie is mobile services. So I'm actually at my friend Nat's right now because she lives a lot closer to where Brie's able to come. So hey Nat, hey queen if you're watching. Nat's not here right now, but her cats are. Hi cat, oh, say hello. Hi queen, I haven't seen you in a while. How are you? Hi, baby. This is what we're doing.
This is so pretty. It's so ballet. They're freaking gorgeous. Cute designs. I want to change my nails. I think this kind of design would also be really pretty for holiday seasons, you know, like holiday parties and stuff. Ooh, yeah, with like a champagne gold. Yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. My nails are done and they look yeah yeah so happy with this design i originally saw this design on instagram in all pink but i really wanted a neutral color just to match more of my outfits in korea so we went with a tan color scheme for the rest of the day i am going to shop i have a few things that i need to pick up for this trip like skincare and like travel minis and essentials look at me doing it a few days ahead instead of the day before I really like using ABH brow pens as eyeliner. So I think I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna get it in medium brown. Oh no, that's okay. Thank you. but I guess they don't have it. I'm gonna have to go to a different location. These are so good. Yeah, yeah. I also heard that the Revlon oil roller essentially does the same thing. I've never tried it though. I decided I'm gonna take it just to see how I like it, but just in case, I'm also taking the oil absorbing sheets because these are so good and they don't remove your makeup. Hello. We are now two days, two days away from my Korea trip. Just two days, you guys. Tomorrow's gonna be more of my like really serious, serious prep as in packing. I really wanted to wash my makeup brushes before I have to pack them tomorrow. I did want to show you guys, this is what I use to wash my makeup brushes. It's this little silicone pad that has these little ridges on it and it's really good for getting in between the bristles of your brushes. I got this off of Amazon. I actually just bought a bunch of things off of Amazon that are gonna help me with packing for tomorrow. And I'll link all of that in the description below, including this, because I think this is really helpful. See how, oh, look at how dirty. I mean, it's not that dirty. Okay, this is my foundation brush. I like to wash my makeup brushes every week. I don't go past more than two weeks because acne prone skin. And I just really like to make sure that I travel with clean makeup brushes because dirty makeup brushes, especially the makeup brushes that you use for your liquid makeup, I just find that if they're dirty, as in they have like a lot of built up product on them, then your makeup doesn't apply as smooth. And I want my makeup to look good in Korea. It's time. I need to start packing. I will be leaving for Korea in less than 24 hours. It's like 4.30 right now. As you can kind of see, the sun is starting to set. So throughout this portion of the video, if the lighting changes, which it definitely will, sorry, <laughs> I need to start packing. I had to bring down all of my sweaters and like my longer cardigans and things like that because it is gonna be chilly in Korea. We love seasonal weather. California used to really. So I have an idea of the pieces that I'm gonna pack with me. And I was gonna do a little try on for you guys and show you everything of like this is the outfit that I'm gonna wear on this day and XYZ but like as much as I'm proud of myself for planning an itinerary for this trip I'm gonna be real with myself I do not plan my outfit so twice just announced like literally yesterday that the theme for their fan meet is 90s and I'm like that's adorable and I could do that I don't have the pieces for it so maybe when I'm Korea I'll try to find something but if not either I won't even dress according to the theme and I'm just gonna be like early pop twice or I'll see what I can work with but but packing I got a bunch of things off of Amazon that I want to show you guys first thing that I got was this mini power strip I used to have something like this that it was basically a little cube where you could plug in multiple USB ports USB ports USB cables and it was so helpful not only for myself but also when I was traveling with friends I recommend if you are traveling with friends and you're going to be sharing a hotel room and you're just not sure about the plugs that are available a really good idea is to bring a mini power strip because then you could take more advantage of the outlets that are in the hotel room or airbnb or whatever and you can share plugging in portable chargers and phone like if everyone's charging their phone but someone needs to use the hair straightener this comes in handy i lost the one that i used to have so i decided to order a new one off of amazon I also got shoe bags 
I travel with many pairs of shoes when I go anywhere. It's just who I am, babe. And what I've done in the past is I pack my shoes away in like plastic bags that I have lying around the house. But I just want to be a little bit more organized about it. So I bought these individual shoe bags, again, off of Amazon, linking it down below. I like these because it has space for a regular pair of shoes and also you could put something like slippers in here, shower shoes, things like that. So I really like these bags. Also restocked on Clorox wipes. I like to carry a pack of these with me in my bag every day. I also like to disinfect hotel rooms or like Airbnbs whenever I arrive. I also got this toiletry bag. I decided to try a new one and I've always been curious about bags like this. This is one of those bags that you can hang up and it falls down and it's got a bunch of compartments. I am skeptical of it because look how thin it is. And yes, it can stretch, but I'm like, can this stretch enough to fit everything that I need? So you open her up and it has this hook and she falls like that. I do like that it has clear bags so you can see everything. I also just like that each compartment is sealed. The old bag that I had was just like an open bag. This, I feel like, offers you a little more protection in case something does open within one of the compartments. And I thought this was cute. It's not enough for me because I love accessories, but it also has this bag in the front and you can put accessories oh, you can put accessories inside it so you have these little holes for earrings uh, you can hang little bracelets in here you can use this to hold rings i just think this is really cute and so i definitely will be using it on to more techie things i really want to create good content on this trip and also i just want to document the memories for myself i tried doing that on my last trip to korea which was actually exactly a year ago but um that's when i was starting to try youtube and i was just so uncomfortable trying to vlog i did i did try i have the footage sitting in the cloud i've just not even looked at it which is a bummer because i went for bts's yet to come concert so like that was also my first time i ever went to busan i'm sad that i don't have that i haven't put those memories together in a vlog to look back on you know that's why I say, if you want to start a YouTube channel, if you want to start vlogging, do it! Even if you don't get a lot of views. Right now, I'm in my humble era, but I still really enjoy doing it, and so I'm not gonna stop. So, first is, I had to replace this. I think I talked about this in my P1 Harmony in Chicago vlog, because I think that's the first time I ever used it. This is basically a handheld tripod. You can extend this. It's not too high, but it's perfect if you want to put this on, like, your desk, or a table when you're at a restaurant and it has the little tripod legs here and it has this holder that you can put your phone on and it also detaches so if you have a camera you could put that up here instead i just use my phone to vlog and it's perfect for me but i did have to buy another one because i broke the last one linking this down below even if you're just creating content on tiktok i feel like this is such a nice portable little tripod to have and i bought this mic now Maybe you guys have seen this on TikTok. This is a wireless mic that connects to your phone. I bought one previously and I decided to return it because while it does work, I just feel like the quality is not the best. If you hold the mic here to your mouth, then it sounds great. But if you have it clipped on you, I felt like the quality got reduced. And something else that I didn't like about the previous mic that I had is the clip wasn't adjustable. And so it clipped on like, instead of clipping upward, it clipped on sideways. And I was like, <laughs> so I think this one is different. I don't know about the quality though. I'm gonna be testing her out during the trip. So we have her. I'm pretty sure I've plugged this on my channel before, but this Anchor portable charger, I got this off of Amazon. It's a brick. Like if I threw this at your head, it'd put you in the hospital. She is a little heavy, keep that in mind, but she is absolutely worth it. It can range anywhere from 60 to maybe $80, but this charges my phone multiple times a week. And when you're traveling, I feel like this is so convenient. Also for concerts, you guys, enough with the mini portable chargers that you know are gonna run out within an hour. Invest in a good portable charger. You will love yourself for it and your friends will love yourself for it too. Cause I know we've all been there where our friends are like, oh, do you have a portable charger? and you're like, um, I need it, babe, sorry. Because of this, I never have a problem lending my charger to other people because I know it has enough for both of us and for multiple times. Linking her down below. And the last thing is, 
Did it turn on? Oh! This is a portable light that you can clip onto your phone. It has this clip right here, and it's perfect if you're taking videos of yourself talking to the camera at night or like in any poorly lit room. I think people have been calling this the Alex Earl light. Me personally, I found this light because of Lipstick Kitty Ashley, and she found this light based off of the recommendation of another creator. I'm just saying, you do have to charge this light, but the charge lasts a pretty long time. And it has different settings. There's this neutral light, which is my favorite. Favorite. There's a cooler tone setting and then a warmer tone setting. For all my content creation girlies, yeah, yeah. And one of the last things I want to show you guys is Packing Cube. I've been using these all year and they are so worth it. Like everything else, I'm going to link this down below, but this set that I got off of Amazon has a pretty good amount of bags in it, but I just feel like I could use even more. A lot of Packing Cube sets will have different types of bags inside. So for example, there's this one that's completely closed off and I actually, I kind of like to use this one for electronics. I would pack things like my laptop charger and portable chargers, this handheld thing, all of that in here will usually give you a toiletry type of bag, a shoe bag. You can use these however you want. Then there's also a bunch of bags that have this clear netting so you're clearly able to see what's inside. I usually pack things like underwear, socks, things like that in a smaller bag. And then there's the bigger packing cubes. This is gonna be a bigger trip so I think I'm gonna try to pack according to categories. Like I'll put all my pants in one bag and all my shirts in another bag. But what I really like about packing cubes for smaller trips is I'll put specific outfits in a specific bag. That way I just know every day what I'm gonna use. I think when I went to go see Twice in Oakland and Seattle, I packed both of my concert outfits, accessories, everything that I needed in one bag. It just makes packing so much easier and getting ready so much easier. Like I said about outfits, I wanted to show you guys everything that I'm gonna wear. Girl! <laughs> I need like a whole separate day for that, which I had a day today. Anyway, I think what I'm gonna try to do instead is I would like to create a everything I wore in Korea video, like its own separate video. Because even if I try to pre-plan outfits right now, I think realistically I'll just play with what I have in my luggage throughout the trip. So the outfits will change anyways. I'm thinking jackets, blazers, long sleeves, cute fall clothing. <laughs> So excited. And now I have to face the reality of actually packing. And I filmed no outro for this video because I wasn't sure if I wanted to include flight day in this vlog, but honestly, I have so much footage from the entire trip that I think I'm gonna be breaking it up into a few videos. So if you wanna see what my solo trip to Korea was like, please don't forget to subscribe. I'm so excited for you guys to see this in the next few videos, and I hope you're excited too. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in Korea.